Hey guys, this is Wolfie here with a special presentation, and this particular um, video is going to be just my personal predictions on the 77 era, and, so, and there's going to be some, in this particular predictions video, it's going to be six characters where I think they'll get their 77 awakening, and or how. And by that, it's like, some people can get it delayed, some people can get it earlier, some people can get it as something, as something separate from wherever. That sort of thing. Now, the six characters I've picked are the ones I think will have a big change in them. And they are Locke from Final Fantasy VI, Beatrix from Final Fantasy IX, Setzer from Final Fantasy VI, Titus from Final Fantasy X and X-2, Lightning from, from the Final Fantasy XIII trilogy, and Zell from Final Fantasy VIII. So... Without any further ado, and I'm going to be going into my notes a little bit here and there. And this is not going to be a very long video at all. It's just a predictions video. And I do these for fun because I know I could be off for all I know. Now, with Titus here, I do think he's going to get his 77 earlier than expected. Now, you're kind of wondering why, how? The thing is, Titus got his EX ahead of schedule. And by then, he was supposed to get it during Fang's banner when she came to Global. However, because Titus got his EX early, he was replaced by Zell. And we all know that Titus recently got his rework on Global. So, continuing that trend, he getting everything earlier than expected, he's going to get his 7070 early before Fang's Lost Chapter, and by that, the third wave of the 7070 Awakening, which should be November. And the reason why I say it like that is, again, he gets everything earlier than expected, and because he's a known and popular character to a lot of people, that's I do see that trend continuing. And I do want to make a note here that should Titus get his 7070 Awakening alongside... In the third awakening wave, he will not be getting his EX Plus right out the gate. Because the EX Plus came around Fang's Lost Chapter. So, it, again, it's something you guys want to keep that in mind here. Now, speaking of Zell, because he took Titus's place in the in Fang's banner when she came to Global earlier this year, he's going to be getting his 7070 alongside Frank. And with Zell, he'll probably get his rework around the time of Ultimate Ramu. And, unlike, and the thing is, again, remember, you guys have to remember, Titus gets everything earlier than it's anticipated. You have to think, keep that thought in mind because Zell's going to have stuff of his pushed up a little bit. So, with his rework, it's probably going to be right around Ultimate Ramu. His 7070 and EX Plus, something that Titus probably will not get for who knows how long, is for in the case, and this again, this is, I'm talking about Zell, he's going to be getting his EX Plus alongside Fang. So, to recap quickly, Titus gets his 7070 in the third Awakening Wave, but not his EX Plus. Zell will probably get his rework right around Ultimate Ramu, his 7070 Awakening, and EX Plus alongside Fang when her lost chapter comes to global. Should be probably right around close to the end of this year, if not January of 2020. Now with Lightning, she's likely one of the very last people to get her 7070 Awakening on JP. However, I do feel this could be something special lined up for her. And the reason why I try to put her in this equation is because later on this year, or very early 2020, is going to be the 10th anniversary of Final Fantasy XIII first showing up. Now, Final Fantasy XIII is one of those games where people either loved or hated. Some people have it, and, number, some, and Lightning, according to quite a few YouTubers who are a fan of the franchise but don't play this game, have Lightning on their list somewhere as a favorite character of theirs. In some lists, she's number one. However, she's not as well as received. 
on Opera Omnia. And even Brave Axis for those who still play that game. But with Opera Omnia, I do feel they have something special lined up just for her. And on the global end, I do think they're going to push back her rework, but push up her 7070 Awakening to Ultimate Leviathan. Now, the reason why I predict Ultimate Leviathan as when she'll get both her rework at 7070 is mainly because, and I'm going to say this without sounding too wordy, is that the fact that she, her spark strike is of the thunder element and Leviathan is weak against thunder, she becomes the perfect candidate to get her their 7070 alongside Kryle with the ultimate Leviathan. And when it comes again, when it comes to Ultimate Leviathan, Fang's Lost Chapter, that's around the time where EX Plus starts. So if Lightning does get her 7070 at Ultimate Leviathan, we're gonna be seeing a, not only her 7070, her rework, and her EX Plus, which gives her a bit of a one-up in a sense to oh, over Titus. Sorry, folks, I'm just going with a little logic here. Supporting my opinion. And the information on some of these characters will be on the Decidia database website. In the sense of like, when people got what. And I will make sure that's in the description below. So, now, so quick, so with quick, with quick recap with these three. Before I go into the other half. Titus gets his 7070 around on to, or in the third wave of the 7070 Awakening. Zell gets his with Fang, with his 7070 with Fang. Lightning gets pushed up to Ultimate Leviathan. So, let me see if I can get this right without me screwing up. Nope. Uh, no. Uh, ah, here we go. My fault. You're probably going to be seeing this when this once this gets uploaded onto the channel. <laughs> Anywho, the other three, like I said, Lock. Beatrix and Setzer. I'm going to start off with Beatrix right off the gate because the thing is with her, she's a global first character. She provides to global a lot of flexibility in when she gets her 7070. Now, like I said in my um in the previous video about the 7070 awakening, all that jazz. The reason why she provides a lot of the the, the most flexibility is that she could delay. Any lost chapter starting with Leonhart by a few weeks, which I'm okay with. She could also, her 77 could also be delayed to uh, being after Fran. That's going to be for more than a year, uh, sometime next year. We don't know when. And also, alternatively, if she does delay the lost chapter starting with Leonhart, it means it could, it could, it could be a few things. The Cosmos era is extended by a couple of weeks because the chaos difficulty, the first last chapter with the chaos difficulty is Fang. So there's a lot of flexibility with what Global can do in that regard. So one, we can see Cosmos era being extended as well as the lost chapter synergy character changing for varying events. So if Global does what I'm thinking it's going to do and have her lost chapter be when Leon is supposed to have his, that means Leon all of a sudden becomes the Lost Chapter Synergy character for Garland. Fang becomes the Lost Chapter Synergy character for Ultimecia. And the only other alternative of out of that out of that scenario is that Global has a second Global First character. It could be Red Thirteen. It could be Riku. It could be Min Wu. I know those three names are popped up a lot. In varying threads, I read up here and there. So there's a again, like I said, she carries a lot of flexibility. So if I'm thinking what Global's thinking, she's going to be where right around the time when she debuts, she delays Leon a little bit, and and also while she we may see a an alteration of Lost Ch Chapter Synergy character because Global does things Global's way. They don't really follow JP as much as some people think they should. I don't care. So, with Locke, I do see his 7070 being delayed to his lost chapter, keeping in line with any 
character that came out during the 6060 era. And the reason why, like I said, the reason why I do feel they're going to delay it is because, again, Tidus. Tidus gets everything, seems to get everything early. And I, because Tidus still gets stuff early, they're going to delay somebody, and that somebody is going to be locked. Now, the final character in this, um, in this particular presentation is Setzer. Now, he's part, he's also a part of the Third Awakening Wave. Although, it's around the time that Ultimate Ramu shows up. So, with my personal prediction with Setzer, is that he is going to get the 7070 Awakening during Ultimate Ramu, but it's, some, but it's something that's on its own. It's not a part of that wave. And... With that, and with and with anything with the, with anyone under the Black Crystal Affinity, there's going to be some major shuffles within that color alone, and I also will see some other shuffles within the Yellow Crystal Affinity as well. Because Noel, who has yet to come up uh, come out on Global, he is he takes up a spot on that Third Awakening wave, and he's probably going to get that on his own. So it's one of those. It's like you really. It's like Global as a lot of thinking to do in regards to what they're going to do with that particular wave. So my personal prediction is Setzer gets a 7070 when Ultimate Rabu shows up, but it's something entirely different because it could be with the third wave, it could be closer to the fourth, and Global is going to Global because they do things their way. They don't they they do follow the JP stuff here and there, but not not in the order that they like. And I'm going to end it on that. With Wolfie here, signing off. I will catch you all on the flip side.